I'm past patiently waiting, I'm passionately smashing every expectation, every action's an act of creation. I'm laughing in the face of casualties and sorrow. For the first time, I'm thinking past tomorrow. Hamilton helped a lot of us get through the darkest days of the pandemic with its release on Disney Plus. But there's nothing like seeing the Tony Award winning musical in person. Charlie Cooper caught up with Broadway's Eliza Hamilton, Crystal Joy Brown. Thanks, Tamsin. Just months before COVID-19 shut down Broadway, Crystal Joy Brown stepped into the role of Eliza in Hamilton. This September, show returned to the revolutionary show, and I got a chance to chat with her. So, Crystal, first and foremost, talk to me about playing Eliza and like how excited you are to get back on that stage. Well, I really fell in love with Eliza being able to play her because she was just everything that I think that uh, us women are, strong, vulnerable, um, the caretakers, but also leading her own legacy. Um, and to play her is a true honor because I get to see the audience at the end of the show and people have been through so much and she is the one that people can connect to their, with their hearts. So I'm excited to connect with people in any way that I possibly can, but then to play such a woman of a strong legacy who knew how to love, that means so much to me. What do you miss most about being a part of Hamilton? Obviously this is a show that I imagine every night you guys end it with a round of applause, standing ovation. Do you miss that or what do you miss most about being on stage? I mean, my, my cast, you know, our community. I miss our Broadway community. Um, I miss even just walking up here and seeing this incredible marquee and being so proud. Talk to us about like being able to see the marquee and being like literally here. <laughs> I mean, it's a there's a date. There is a date on the marquee. I remember when it was just nothing. And then I remember when it was coming soon or 2021. And now it is actually September 14th, which feels very real. This is the moment that makes it feel real to me because I haven't been in the theater in a year. I, I can't wait to get in there and just smell the theater again, stand on that stage, figure out how to walk on a turntable again. Um, but yeah, it's a very special moment. I miss, like, I miss our audiences and our collective collaborative spirit together as we walk in. Um, but mostly I miss that big roar when you hear Alexander Hamilton and it's like, raw, like it's like a rock concert. Yeah. So that adrenaline and that love and connectivity is something that I miss and I'm excited to, to be back in the rooms where it happens back on Broadway. Of course, everybody's excited with their shows coming back, but talk about the importance of Hamilton in particular coming back after such a heavy year for so many people. Talk to me about the importance of such a powerful show coming back on stage. Well, what I think Hamilton has done has always shown representation and what this country actually looks like. You see every single representation of every shade, every color, body size, we have all of it in this company and we are always looking to be inclusive and, and spread the narrative of what the arts can be and who we have is everyone and everyone seeing themselves. So it's a big deal how we're coming and restructuring Broadway and what we're bringing. And I think a lot of shows are getting excited about how we plan to return and are taking notes and we can continue to spread this representation across the land.